All right, Shalom. It's another GMS on the go. Come at you, come back at you with another lesson. That's right. But before we get into the lesson, we want to give all honor, all glory, and all praises to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rakakodash. Next up, double honor to our apostles and elders, great millstone, who taught us 100% truth of the Bible and who rule well. Peace, love, salutations to all the brothers across the four corners of the earth, pushing this truth in all diligence and sincerity. And you know, we just gonna give, uh, we just gonna get into a quick lesson, where Lord's willing, however long the Spirit, uh, you know, dictates the lesson on the fear of the Lord. That's right. Always fear the Lord. That's right. You know, so without further ado, we're gonna dive right into it. You know, we're gonna grab our free, our first precept. This is Deuteronomy, chapter 10, verse 12. And now, Israel. Right. And Israel consists of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. That's right. Who are the real biblical Israelites? Right. And any um, confusion of faces, which consists of uh, uh, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, but look like these other nations. That's right, brother. It reads on. What do Yahweh thy power require of thee? Right. Yahweh, being uh, the heavenly Father, who the word ignorantly calls God. What does he require of who? You so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. It didn't specify any other nation, but uh, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. You know, uh, on another topic, but just basically, you know, uh, letting you know that it's only de dealing with Israel. That's right. It reads on. But to fear Yahweh thy power. Right. But to fear the Yahweh your power. Not to... Um, not to love, not to not to hug, not to kiss, not to do any of these other things, but first and foremost, but to fear him. And let me chime in real quick, mm -hmm. you know, because by you so-called Negroes, Latino and Americans, fearing Yahweh Bashim that's ultimately going to show your love towards Yahweh Bashim You see, but it all starts with fear. You so-called Negroes, Latino and Americans, you must fear Yahweh Bashim Like the brother said beautifully, Yahweh being the Heavenly Father, which his name means he is or he exists, and Yahweh Shah, the only begotten son, which his name means he saves or he delivers. Those are the one and only living true powers, you see, that's been from the beginning, and that's going to be here to the end, that you so-called Negroes, Latino, and the Americans need to be fearing. Not Allah, not Buddha, not the Hindu god of Sheba, not Santa Maria, not Baphomet, not Serapis, not the Esau, the so-called white man, not none of these other nations that are upon the face of the earth. Yahweh Bashim al Shah. You see, because they're the ones that's bringing on the bad times, the evils upon the face of the earth. They're the ones that's bringing the storms, the tempests, the tornadoes, the hurricanes, the forest fires, the massacre shootings, you name it. You see, so you need to be fearing Yahweh Bashim al Shah. It all starts with fear. That's right. So I'm going to read that from the top again. This is Deuteronomy chapter 10, verse 12. And now, Israel, what do Yahweh thy power require of thee? But to fear Yahweh thy power, to walk in all his ways, and to love him. Right. And it, and it says to walk in all his ways. What are his ways? The ways, the uh, knowledge and wisdom and understanding of these scriptures, man. That's right. Mm -hmm. And chime in. You know, because if you so called Negroes, Latino Americans, you know, are fearing Habashim Al Shah, if you are if you have that fear in you, you know, and you're really fearing Habashim Al Shah in truth and sincerity, then it's gonna show why because you're gonna be um keeping their sayings. Mm -hmm. You're gonna be walking in their ways by and, and, and keeping their commandments. You see, because by you keeping the commandments, ultimately shows that what? You fear your Habashim Al Shah. Mm -hmm. It say what? And to love him. You see, because if you so-called Negroes, Latino, and Americans are walking your Habashim Al Shah ways and keeping the commandments, then ultimately, that's showing them that you love them. Because what is love according to the scriptures? Love is that you keep your Habashim Al Shah's commandments. So if you're walking in the ways, again, that's showing them that you love them because you're keeping their, their commandments. And just to prove, you know, so like we're going to prove what love is according to the scriptures. All right. This is uh, Second John chapter uh, well, Second John period verse six, mm -hmm. and this is love mm -hmm. that we walk after His commandments. You see, it said this is love that we walk after His commandments. 
So if you so-called Negroes, Latino, and Americans truly love Yahweh Bashim Al-Shah, Yahweh being Heavenly Father, and Yahweh Shah being only begotten Son, then guess what you're going to do to show them that you love them? You're going to walk in their ways. You're going to keep the commandments. You see? You know, because love is an action. Love is not those those, those um, heart skipping beats. You know, those funny feelings that you feel in your chest. Love is something that you do. And that's how you show Yahweh Bashim Al-Shah that you actually love them by keeping their commandments. Right. It reads... This is the commandment that as ye have heard from the beginning, ye should walk in it right. And this is the commandment uh, uh, that ye have heard from the beginning. Where is the beginning? Ultimately, uh, since the foundation of the earth, you know. But ultimately, this is talking about uh, like in the, in, um, in the law, as in the beginning, which we've been told before. Going back to Deuteronomy, what does the Lord require of us? To walk in his ways and to do his commandments and to love him. And, and this is the love of the Heavenly Father. And that's right. But he's even going back further than then. You mm -hmm. see, because before Moses even gave us a law, you know, Adam and Eve had a law within them. Right. You see, and we were supposed to what? Walk in those ways. That's right. And that was the law that we were supposed to um, follow from the beginning of times. That's right. And right, that was just proving what love was. Did you uh, finish Deuteronomy? Oh, so like you, let me go mm -hmm. back to it. This is Deuteronomy chapter 10, verse 12 from the beginning. And now, Israel, what doeth Yahweh thy power require of thee? But to fear Yahweh thy power, to walk in all his ways, and to love him. So, again, if you so called Negroes, Latin Americans, or walking in Yahweh Shemashah's ways, if you're keeping the commandments, then that's ultimately showing them that you love them because we just read, you know, that love. Is to walk in Yahweh Shemash ways to keep the commandments. It reads on, and to serve Yahweh thy power with all thy heart and with all thy soul. And that word heart goes back to the Hebrew word allows means your mind. So you so called Negroes, Latin Americans, you're supposed to be serving Yahweh Shemash with all your mind and with all your soul. You see, and that's what Yahweh Shemash requires. That's what they expect from you so-called Negroes, Latino, and Americans. To fear them, to walk in all their ways, and to love them. But it all starts with fear. And one way or another, you so-called Negroes, Latino, and Americans, we're fear Yahweh Shemash, whether it's now or, where, or whether it would be when Yahweh Shemash turns up the heat and brings all these different plagues and calamities upon two-thirds of you so-called Negroes, Latino, and Americans. That's right. And this is a... Uh... <clears throat> This is Ecclesiastes chapter 13, chapter 12, verse 13. That's right. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Mm -hmm. Fear the Most High mm -hmm. and keep His commandments. Mm -hmm. For this is the whole duty of man. That's right. So the whole duty of you Israelite men, so-called Negroes, Latino, and Americans, the whole duty of you Israelite men while you're on the face of the earth, while you're breathing, while you're still living, is to do what? Is to fear your power. Yahabashim al Shah. Again, not Allah, not Buddha, not the Hindu god of Sheba, not um, um, Serapis, not Baphomet, not Esau, the so called white man, not any of these other nations that are on the face of the earth. The whole duty of you Israelite men, so called Negroes, Latino, and Americans, you know, while you're on the face of the earth, is to fear Yahabashim al Shah, the one and only living true power. The one that's making things shake upon the face of the earth. You see, it said what? And keep their commandments. Because again, if you so-called Negroes, Latin Americans, are fearing Yahweh Shem Shah, then it's going to show. Because why? It's going to lead up to you keeping their commandments. You see, it's going to lead up to you doing their will. Because by you keeping their commandment, ultimately shows that you fear them. That's right. And that's the whole duty of you Israelite men. Yep. You see? So again, you so-called Negroes, Latin Americans, you're going to learn to fear Yahweh Bashim al Shah. You see, again, whether it's right now or whether it's when Yahweh Bashim al Shah start bringing all these different plagues and calamities upon the face of the earth. That's right. I got a preset for you. Mm -hmm. This is Job chapter 28. So, like, yeah, my phone asked a little. All right, here we go. This is, this is Job chapter 28, verse 28. And unto man, he said, Behold, the fear of Yahweh, that is wisdom. Right. It said unto man, he said, 
right? And who is that man he's talking about? Uh, so we got to go back to Deuteronomy. What does the Lord require of Israel, right? What does the Lord require of Israel? Uh, to fear the Most High. So if we know that, we know that when we come to Job, that the man that's being spoken about is you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, right? And the confusion of faces, which consists of uh, uh, people that look like these heathens, but are uh, uh, go so back called, to the seed, yep. yeah, so of Abraham, Negr Isaac, and Jacob. Yep, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Americans. Right. That's right, brother. And it said, behold, uh, that word behold goes into look, right? And furthermore, to listen. The fear of the Lord, that is wisdom, right? So the fear of the Lord, what? The fear of the Lord, which consists of uh, keeping, uh, walking in the ways of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh and keeping their commandments, that is wisdom, right? That's mm -hmm. right. And let me chime in real quick. Like the brother said, the fear of the Lord, that is wisdom according to the scriptures. Because ultimately, wisdom according to the scriptures, you know, doing what Yahweh by Shem Yahweh commands you to do, you know, not eating shrimp, pork, crab, lobster, not marring your beard, making baldness up on your head, mm -hmm. you know, not um, indulging in sodomy, man with man, woman with woman, not committing adultery, you see, not going contrary to the scriptures. You see, that ultimately shows the fear of the Lord. You see, because wisdom according to the scriptures teaches you to fear the Lord. That's right. Mm -hmm. Read on. You finish it up. And to depart from evil is understanding. And that's right. And to depart from evil is understanding. And the only ones who are going to depart from evil is the ones who have the understanding, which is ultimately what? The elected nation of Israel. You see, because they're going to know not to, you know, be going contrary to these scriptures, but to fear Yahweh Bashim Ashah, which is wisdom. You see, they're going to know to keep the commandments of the Bible. To the best of their ability, because why they fear Yahabashim Asha and that judgment that they can bring that that Yahabashim Asha can bring upon them as they're not doing their will. That's right. Bring that whatever you got. We gonna keep on rolling. All right. This is the Book of Sirach, chapter. You know, and it all because it all starts with fear ultimately. You know, because if you so-called Negroes, Latin Americans ain't got that fear in you, then you're not going to be doing Yahabashi Masha's will. You're not going to be keeping the commandments, and then that's going to lead it to you what? Indulging in wickedness. But if you're fearing Yahabashi Masha and you truly got that fear in you, then you're going to be keeping their own their commandments. You're going to be doing their will because you actually fear them in truth and sincerity. That's right. This is a Sirach chapter 15, verse 13. Mm -hmm. The Lord hate of all abomination. Right, and the Lord hate of all. Of, what, are, what are some of the abominations? Right, uh, eating shrimp, pork, crab, lobster, mm -hmm. not keeping up with the dietary laws. Yep. Like the brother was saying, sleeping with the next man's wife, vice versa. Which you know, it? committing adultery. Yep. You right, and um, and other things like uh, getting tattoos, marring the corners of your beard, getting edge up, making baldness upon your head. Right, worshiping these uh, guys who are fake guys who are no guys, such as Buddha, Allah, Santa Maria. You know. Caesar Bourgier, which is ultimately Serapis, who the world uh, ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, yep. right? And, uh, and other things, like uh, like worshiping feast days that the Lord also hates. All of these are abominations to the Lord. You know, Look at the acts that's right. the Lord and, hates. Like, you know, like, elaborate on what the brother was saying, you know, on worshiping these feast days, you know, going back to these pagan holidays, you know, mm -hmm. like, such as Christmas, Thanksgiving, Easter, Halloween, and so forth on. You see, these are all the things that the Lord hates. Read that scripture from the top again, brother. This is Sirach chapter 15, verse 13. The Lord hate of all abomination. That's right. The Lord hate all abomination. And we look into that word abomination, it means wicked, filthy acts. You see, so Lord, Yahweh Bashima Shah hates all wicked, filthy acts. Everything that me and the brother just named. You see, because those are things that goes contrary to Yahweh Bashima Shah's own word. Mm -hmm. And that's the things that, you know, that two thirds of our people are into. And it's ultimately, you know, because. They don't fear your Habashim Yahweh Because they fear your Habashim Yahweh They wouldn't be indulging in this stuff. That's right. Read on. And they that fear the Most High love it not. And the ones that fear your Habashim Yahweh which is wisdom according to scriptures, who are keeping his commandments of the Bible to the best of their ability, they love it not. Meaning what? They don't like the, 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 the things of this world, you know, that, that's being promoted here on what's going on what's going contrary to the scriptures. You see, and, and you know, that's starting with our apostle of the great Muslim to the middle down. You see, we free your Habashi Masha, so we love it not. We don't like we don't like the things of this world. You see, because it, 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 it's, it's wicked. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And this is, uh, did you have something? Keep on bringing it out unless you got something. If you ain't got nothing, give me on Proverbs 10 and 27.
you see? Because, you know, two-thirds of our people, who are they fearing right now? They're fearing Allah. They're fearing Buddha. They're fearing the Hindu god of Shiva. They're fearing Santa Maria. They're fearing Haile Selassie. They're fearing Esau, the so-called white man. They're fearing on um, all these different other nations that are upon the face of the earth. But guess what? All these people, uh, you know, all these um, false gods, who are no gods that our people are fearing, you see, and so forth on, they're not real. You see, they don't have no power. You see, they're not doing anything. The power that you so-called Negroes like the Americans need to be fearing is Yahweh Shah. That's right. This is Proverbs chapter 10, verse 27. Mm -hmm. The fear of the Lord prolong of days. That's right. The fear of Yahweh Shah doing what they command you to do, which is wisdom. That's what's going to get your days prolonged. You see, because a lot of people, you know, so like a lot of Israelites, so-called Negro Latin Americans, they think they fear the Lord by just saying that they fear the Lord. Mm -hmm. But just you saying you fear the Lord is not going to get your days prolonged on the face of the earth. You see, what's going to get your days actually prolonged on the face of the earth? You actually fearing the Lord, which is wisdom, keeping the commandments. That's what's going to get your days prolonged to live that long, healthy life to where you got gray hairs popping out your head. You see, that's what's going to get you to live a long and healthy life. You see, so if you want your days prolonged on the face of the earth, fear your high body, my shot, which is wisdom. <clears throat> and it reads, but the years of the wicked shall be shortened. And that's right. And the years of the wicked of you so-called Negroes, Latin Americans shall be shortened. You see, and two thirds of you so-called Negroes, Latin Americans, y'all years on the face of the earth are being shortened. That's why y'all getting shot down by the police. You know, just name a couple of people, you know, just like Trayvon Martin. Eric Garten getting choked out. Sandra Bland. Um, who else? Um, who else? Uh, you know, whatever the case may be, it's a it's a lot more we can go in and name. But these people, their years on the face of the earth were being shortened. Why? Because they won't fear Yahabashi Masha. They won't take heed to the word. So what? Yahabashi Masha took them out. You see, so if you so-called Negroes, Latin Americans, don't want to be like, end up like these people that I was just naming. Then what do you need to do? You need to fear your high body, Shemasha. You need to keep their commandments so that your day, your days on the face of the earth won't be shortened and that your years on the face of the earth can be prolonged. But you just, it all starts with what? Fearing your high body, Shemasha. That's right. Give me um, Proverbs 1 and 7. Mm -hmm. This is Proverbs chapter 1, verse 7. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. That's right. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge and what's the fear of the lord wisdom you see doing what yahabash mashah commands you to do that's the fear of the lord you see which is what equal which ultimately equals what the beginning of knowledge meaning the understanding of these scriptures you see so if you so-called negroes latin americans truly desire if you want to start getting the understanding of the knowledge according to these scriptures then what do you need to do you need to fear yahabash mashah you need to keep their commandments. You see, because Yahweh Bashim is not going to give you the understanding of his knowledge if you're not fearing him. You see, so again, if you so-called Negro Latin Americans want to understand these knowledge, the understanding of the knowledge according to these scriptures, you gotta fear Yahweh Bashim That's the only way. That's right. And if I can um, Yeah, yeah. Uh read uh, just to reiterate what the brother was saying, if you read up to verse six. To understand a proverb mm -hmm. and the interpretation, mm -hmm. the words of the wise mm -hmm. and their dark sayings, mm -hmm. and right after that verse goes into what? Uh, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. So ultimately, uh, what verse 6 is going into is if you were to really understand the deep dark sayings, the parables, the mysteries of uh, the scriptures, man, it all starts with the fear of the Lord. Yeah, and again, it all, like the brother said, it all starts with the fear of the Lord, and not just saying you fear the Lord, but the mm -hmm. fear of the Lord, which is wisdom, doing what they command you to do. Because when you doing what Yahweh Bashim Hashem commands you to do, that's showing that you're being obedient, and that shows that um, you actually want the wisdom, not just understanding the scriptures. So he, guess what? Because you're fearing him, you're keeping on um, his laws, that's commands to the Bible, which is wisdom. He's going to give wisdom to understand it unto you. That's right. And ultimately, man, everything that deals with the Most High, it's all action, man. It's nothing that's just. Of course, we we praise the Lord and we exalt His name with our voices, but everything else that He requires of us is things that we have to do. Yep. The love of the Lord, the fear of the Lord, these are all actions. Yep. That pleases the Lord. And this is a Sirach, chapter two, verse fifteen. Mm -hmm. Um, yep. Verse fifteen. They that fear the Lord. Mm -hmm. 
will not disobey his word. And that's right. It said they that fear the Lord will not disobey his word. And the only ones that really fear the Lord in truth and sincerity is on ultimately the elected nation of Israel. You know, Lord, me, Lord will me and his brother, you know, all the other brothers around the four corners of the earth preaching his word in truth and sincerity will be a part of that. You see, but only the elected nation of Israel is going to fear Yahweh Bashem Asha in truth and sincerity. And because they fear Yahweh Bashem Asha in truth and sincerity, you know, doing what they commanded, doing what Yahweh Bashem Asha commanded them to do, then guess what? They're not going to disobey his word. They're not going to go contrary to the scriptures. Why? Because they fear that judgment that's going to go come upon them if they um, go contrary to the scriptures. That's right. So they fear Yahweh Bashem Asha. It reads, and they that love him. Will keep his ways. That's right. And they that love him will keep his ways. And we already proved what love was. Love is that you keep the commandments of the Bible. Love is that you keep his ways. You know, according to the scriptures. And only, again, only the elected nation of Israel is going to do that. Only the elected nation of Israel is going to show you how Bashim that they love him by keeping his ways, which ultimately, you know, is the fear of how Bashim That's right. Get me that on um, the fear of the Lord drive away sins. This is Sirach. Chapter 1, verse 21. And hold me that on 1 John 3 and 4 on that. The fear of the Lord driveth away sin. That's right. The fear of Yahweh Bashim Shah, you know, wisdom, that's what's going to drive away sins. You see? Because the fear of the Lord, well, the brother's about to get it real quick. Right. This is 1 John, chapter 3, verse 4. Mm -hmm. Whosoever committeth sin transgresseth also the law. Mm hmm. For sin is the transgression of the law. And that whosoever is referring to you so-called Negroes, Latino, and Americans. You see, because only you so-called Negroes, Latino, Americans can sin. Only you can transgress the laws that's commitment to the Bible. Hold me on. You know what I want. You see, because, you see, so if you so-called Negroes, Latino, Americans are, are eating shrimp, pork, crab, lobster, marring your beard, making bonnets upon your head, worshiping these false gods who are no gods, Committing adultery, indulging inside of me. You know, if you're doing anything that goes contrary to the scriptures, you know, the law, then it means you're transgressing the law. That means you're sinning. You see, because according to Leviticus 26 and 46 and Psalm 147 19, the law of statutes and commandments of the Bible was only given to you, so called Negroes, Latino, and Americans. So, therefore, only you can sin. And the brother's about to grab a precept on that. Well, this is Leviticus chapter 26, verse 46. Mm -hmm. These are the statutes and judgments. And laws which the Lord made between him and the children of Israel. No, the children of Edom. Which the Lord made between him and the children of Israel. The children of Moab and Ammon. Between him and the children of Israel. The children of Ishmael and on uh, Elam. Made between him and the children of Israel. The children of Ham. Between him and and the children of Israel. That's right. So these are the statutes, judgments, and laws. You know, ultimately the commandments of the Bible, the Yahweh Bashem Hashah made between them and the children of Israel, which consist of you so-called Negroes, Latino, and Americans. Mm -hmm. Showing you that you so-called Negroes, Latino, Americans, you're the only ones that can sin. You're the only ones that can transgress the laws that you commandments of the Bible. Mm -hmm. Because what? The laws that you commandments of the Bible was meant for you so-called Negroes, Latino, and Americans. None else. So get here and go back to that Sirach. This is a Sirach chapter 1 verse 21. That's right. The fear of the Lord driveth away sin. Right. So the fear of Yahweh Bashim Shah, you know, doing what they command you to do, which is wisdom according to the scriptures, is what's going to drive away sins from you transgressing the laws that's commanded to the Bible. You see, because you so-called Negroes, Latin Americans, you can't sin and transgress the laws that's commanded to the Bible if you're fearing Yahweh Bashim Shah doing what they command you to do. You see, so either you so-called Negroes, Latin Americans, are going to be sinning and transgressing the law that's coming out to the Bible, going contrary to the scriptures, or you're going to fear your Bashim al Shah, you know, which is wisdom. You're going to be keeping the law that's coming out to the Bible, and you're not going to be sinning. So you're either going to be doing one or the other. That's right. And it reads, where it is present, it turneth away wrath. And that's right. And wherever, and where it is present, meaning what? Where, where the fear of the Lord is present, it turneth away wrath. So wh whoever, you, so um, so like you, so the ones that be so-called Negroes, Latino Americans, who are fearing Yahweh Bashim Shah and truth and sincerity, then what? Yahweh Bashim Shah is gonna take his wrath, that judgment, from you, and he's gonna turn it to two-third Israelite, you know, who is not fearing them, and he's gonna bring that judgment, that wrath upon them, and take them out. Why? Because they're not doing what Yahweh Bashim Shah commanded them to do. 
That's right. So this is a um, this is a Saint Luke. Well, it's like it. What you got? Uh, no, this, this is something else. It's uh, no, that's not the one I wanted. wanted Bring that whatever you got. It's all good. Okay. Uh, well, this is uh, you know, going into uh. Get that one, you know how to break down. You know what I'm talking about? The fear of the Lord the, on the branches. Oh, yeah. Well, reading up, reading up uh, Sirach, chapter 1, verse 20. Yep. The root of wisdom yep. is to fear the Lord. Right. So we know, so for, from, from the precepts, we know what uh, the fear of the Lord is. It is wisdom. But when we go into that word, what does wisdom mean? Wisdom is the application of things that are learned, right? So... Uh, you won't be able to increase your learning without first having the foundation, and that's the fear of the Lord. Mm -hmm. And once you have that foundation, then the Lord will start increasing your knowledge, and then you apply that wisdom to your life. And, and as we read on, it reads, and the branches thereof are long life. Like the brother was going into in Proverbs, uh, the 10th chapter. 10 and 27, that's 10 and 27, right. 10 and 27. Um, uh, the fear of the Lord on prolonged days. Yeah, prolonged days. And ultimately, right now, what do we we know we don't want to be here at Babylon, uh, aka America, uh, to have our lives prolonged. So what is that ultimately saying? In this time, we want to be able to uh, to uh, make uh, to be saved and, and reach salvation. And you know, prolong our lives yeah, to the kingdom. Exactly, <laughs> and prolong our lives a limit, a limit uh, for for eternity. eternity that's right, brother. Right. So uh, that's what we want. That's what we want from that. And the latter end of that scripture says that the uh, what well, the wicked shall shall be shortened. Yep. Right. But so, the years of the wicked shall be shortened. So yeah, shall be shortened. And how they're gonna be shortened? They're gonna get baptized in that eternal fire, man. Mm -hmm. That the Lord is gonna bring here to Babylon the Great and the other calamities like the race riots and things like that. So if you fear the Lord, you wanna stay as far away as possible from those things, man. Yep. And it went right into verse twenty-one. Mm -hmm. We wanna get to the end. Did so you finish the branches part out? Yeah. Oh no, Slack, I did. And the branches thereof are long life. Oh right, right I did. But I go into it again. We did. We did break that down. Right. And the branches thereof are long life. So if uh, once you follow the law, statutes, and commandments of the Lord, which is ultimately fearing the Lord, showing the Lord that you that you love Him, right? He's going to increase your life. Like like we were going into. Ultimately, that's going to be the salvation of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Uh, who sincerely come back to the law, statutes, and commandments of the Bible? Man. That's right. Oh, you get that one more. Get that one when it says it was created with the faithful in the womb. It's in Sirach. Let me see. Mm -hmm. So, like it is, give me one second. I'm trying to find another precept. Get the uh, blue there, don't you? There it is. Oh, right there. Fourteen. This is uh, Sirach chapter 1, verse 14. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. So there it is again. Going back to Proverbs 1 and 7 and many other scriptures. The fear of Yahweh by Hashem HaWashah, you know, which is wisdom, doing what it commanded to do, what? Equals the beginning of wisdom. See, so if you so-called Negroes, Latino, and Americans want to understand of wisdom, then you got to fear Yahweh by Hashem HaWashah. You gotta keep their commandments because that's the only way you're gonna get the understanding of the wisdom. That's right, and it reads, "It and it was created with the faithful in the womb." That's right, and the fear of the Lord, you know, doing what Yahweh Shemashia commanded to do, was created with the faithful, which is ultimately the, the elect of the nation of Israel. You see, it was created with us, you know, Lord would be some of men in our mother's womb. You see, in our mother's stomach. You see, because Yahweh Masha has set us up. Because going back to Jeremiah 1 and 5, what it say? Before I formed in the belly, I knew thee. Mm -hmm. And before I on so I could get here and get mm -hmm. that scripture, man. Might as well just get it. Don't even wing it. Yeah, this is Jeremiah. Chapter 1, verse 5. Yep. Jeremiah chapter 1, verse 5. Before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee. That's right. So before Yahweh Bashim al Shah formed, you know, us in the belly of our mother's stomach, before we were created, he knew us. From where? From the spiritual world. Mm -hmm. We were with Yahweh Bashim al Shah in the spiritual world. Read on. 
and before thou camest forth out of the womb, mm -hmm. I sanctify thee. Right, and before we came forth out of our mother's womb, out of her stomach, he sanctified the elect of the nation of Israel. Read on. And I ordain thee a prophet unto the nation. And the Lord ordained the elect of the nation of Israel a prophet unto the nations. You see, so Yahabashim Masha set us up to preach this word. You see, Yahabashim Masha put that fear in us, you see, to um to do what they command us to do mm -hmm. on the face of the earth. You see, because what? He knew who he he, he knew who was gonna be doing his will before he formed us in our mother's stomach. Yeah. You know? So it's all so again, you so-called Negro Latin American, it's all about fear. You so-called Negroes Latin Americans. You need to always be fearing your power, your high body, my shot, no matter what. It all starts with fear. You know, so you got anything to say? Yeah, bro, is it? So with that, I hope you so called Negroes, Latino, and Americans have been edified. It's been another GMS on the go. Before we go any further, we'd like to give all honor, all glory, and all praises to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son. Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rakar Kodash. Next up, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone from teaching us this truth according to the Bible and rule well. And a double shalom wall to all the Sisiaki through all the four corners of the earth, pushing the truth and righteousness and sincerity to the best ability. Till next time, shalom wall. Shalom wall.